new to the channel, I'm Chantel, and if not, hello, I'm still Chantel. Today's video hopefully is going to be a quick one because I know most things I do are quite long. I just draw on and on and on. But nice and quick, I just thought I'd make up a few Halloween baskets or what people are terming boo baskets. Now, we already know about Easter baskets. They've been popular for years and years and years. And Christmas hampers, again, just a staple for um, gifts and decor around the home. But what is becoming more and more popular are these boo baskets the last few years. So I thought I'd show you a few different variations of how you can do them for children or adults alike. And um, using quite cheap things that really come together that can all be used and um, hopefully we'll give someone a nice little surprise and um, really cheer up their day and just give them something to do over the holidays. So as you can see, I've got three different styles here. I have an actual wicker basket um, that's loaded with a few more things. There's a plastic black cauldron and on the end here is one of these felt trick or treat bags. This one is Frankenstein. Now, all these are from local shops. Um, there's only, I think, one item I've had to get online. And this is this at the back, which I'll show you just now. That's an advent calendar. Yes, an advent calendar for Halloween. Um, everything else is Poundland, Home Bargains, b and um, I think I have one or two things from TK Maxx in here. But on the whole, those are the three stores that everything is from. So they range from as little as 50 odd P up into a few pounds a piece. So you can make these as expensive or less expensive as you choose. So let me show you a few different variations. Um, this wicker basket is one I already had lying around, but they do sell them in B&M and Home Bargains for £2.99. It's quite a nice size and it'll fit lots in so I'll probably use these and reuse them for Christmas baskets as well. The ribbon around them, there's little bits of ribbon here, I will zoom in and show you lots of pictures. These are all sold in the range, they have several different ones and they are a pound for a roll and let me just see what you get on it, I have a nice stripey one here, 2.7 metres. Um, yeah, 2.7 metres, so they come in all different designs from the range, a pound roll, can't really go wrong with that, you can use that for all sorts, for wreaths, I've got a wreath up now with lots of a different uh, ribbon in, um, so yeah, a pound, and it just adds a little bit of decoration if you want to go that far. So what I have in these baskets is a mixture of sweeties, which you can get just about everywhere right now, stamps, stickers, colouring books, um, I have little candle holders, lots of cups and things to drink out of, either ceramic cup or the sippy cups with straws. Um, we have little pears and we have a little balloon, foil balloon in them. I'll show you how I've done that and a few other items. So let me come round. Okay, now we're a little bit closer. Um, let's see what individually is in here. So we'll start off with this big torch that was on the table as you can see it's rather large and i thought if i stuck it in a basket um it's probably a bit too big for the ones that i have and these are from b m but you can get them about 10 centimeters tall as well from that store um home bargains and poundland so for a pound um about so big half the size you can get them and if you can see the lights that flash, you press the button a few times and it does different patterns. Um, yeah, so a smaller version of that would do really well in these baskets. Um, but obviously I went big and that was that. Couldn't fit it in. Let me fling it over there. So, another thing that I said was, um, obviously the wicker basket, you might already have them lying around or you can get them all over. Let me show you this cauldron a bit closer. So this little feet on there, black plastic cauldron with a handle. You can get these again all over, but 
in the pound shop, more importantly, one pound done. These felt guys here, let me bring him a little bit closer to you. Frankenstein, little face, little felt pouch again, it comes with a handle and this fella was from B&M, a pound and um, they had a few different varieties of that, they had a black cat, they had a white ghost and they had another one that was a pinky purple colour and I think it was a witch's face. Um, so lots of different colours and varieties of that one. Also in B&M, let me just whip all these out. They had these, so again a pound. Lots of different colours as you can see. There's this Happy Halloween in lime green. There is a black. Give it a wiggle. A little skeleton and ghosts. A bit of a graveyard. They have a like turquoisey blue. Little witch and her cats on. Says trick or treat. And um they have again this pinky purple happy halloween with those cats and bats on so these are very big if you see my hand in there and how deep it is nice big size would do really well um as one of these baskets to fill it up as a trick or treat um bowl for all your sweeties uh, or to put loads of pumpkins in something on the sideboard uh, but that would work really well for these baskets um, so what is in the baskets there's a variety of things and like I said you could do this for children teenagers adults there's plenty in the shops right now um, that would suit everyone really so I've got um, a bit of a mixture of, of everything going on let's start with uh, Frankenstein and then you can just see this is probably the cheapest version with the least things in um, and it does the job so after this has been received a uh, little one can then use this as their trick-or-treat basket and take it out and about to collect all their sweeties but we have in it a bath bomb so this is a pumpkin bath bomb nice and thick this is from home bargains it is mango in smell uh, I was going to say flavour then, but I do not advise eating a bath bomb. Uh, mango in smell, it is a pound from Home Bargains. They also do them in a few different shapes. So, where are we? In the cauldron, I've got this little ghosty. And I have Frankenstein's head in the wicker basket. So, yep, yeah, Home Bargains, one pound. They also do this Hello Scream light up bath bomb that has a toy inside and it's a light up ghost, what appears to be a brain or a skull. So that's a multicoloured bath bomb ball and it comes with a little toy inside. So all of those home bargains, one pound on the shelves now. I also put in this little gruesome white chocolate bomb. So as you can see, it's a little chocolate bomb. You pop it in your hot water. They had um, a pumpkin version of this, a jack-o'-lantern version, which was a normal milk chocolate. Um, so if you don't like white chocolate, this is hollow white chocolate with a red colored decoration filled with marshmallows. So that just goes in warm milk or water. It obviously will melt and dissolve and out will come the red and the white marshmallows and all the juices so that was a little eyeball like i said there's also that jack lantern which is milk chocolate so in here also is this vampire makeup set now the pound shop again has loads of different variations as do all the other shops um so big things little things all sorts you can get lots of different colors fake bloods and um, they're even selling latex makeup now so all the things that you use for special effects to create scars and um, open wounds and things like that selling in the pound shop so really cheap um, if your child is interested in that even an adult I mean you couldn't get that one when we were kids could you but now they have all sorts 
Um, there's also in the back this scavenger hunt. Now this is from Tesco. It has all sorts to do. It comes with lots of different props and pieces and it uh, has different clues throughout it. Um, and obviously you just hide things around the house, the garden, the neighborhood and uh, little one can go on a little scavenger hunt. So a bit like Easter Bunny again, you go on your little scavenger hunt for your eggs. You do the same for Halloween. And on cue, dealy boppers have fell out. So little bat dealy boppers there, they twang as dealy boppers should. They're from the pound shop. I also have another version up just here. So sticky out witch's legs. Um, these ones don't buckle though. They are solid and they were from Wilkinson's. And again, a pound. And they had lots of different dealy boppers all different colours, all different styles of things on them. Um, it would be helpful if I could get this back on, wouldn't it? A normal person would just leave it. But, um... It's more really specs, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, so little dealy boppers. Um, again, they can wear these to school, school discos, um, out and about, or while they're trick-or-treating, or just around the house. Also got these little just decorations. This is just a felt spider that I've stuck in. Now Pez. You don't see kids with Pez is very often, do you? I used to love these as a child, but these are some Halloween Pez. This is a Dracula. There is also, let us have a look, little witch. She's a cutie. Love her little hat. And I do have another, oh, there we are, a little ghost. And again, I think there was a Frankenstein version of the Pez. Um, and I got those from Asda. So again, local supermarkets do have lots of things in. Check them out. So what else do we have in here? So this, again, pound shop. It's a nutcracker. So I have Frankenstein, limbs move, and... Um, Again, different styles. So we have Dracula, comes with a little cape. And over here I have a skeleton. So Nutcrackers, pound shop. I also have some string lights. So these are 3D string lights. You get eight on this one. Again, pound shop. They are little jack-o'-lanterns, great for a little children's room, just to hang around their bed, on a mantle if they have a fireplace or anything in their room, or even if they do go trick-or-treating, you could light them and put them in the bottom of their tub while they're collecting their sweeties. So lastly, for this one, we have a nice little sippy cup so this has a twirly straw on the outside skeleton design like that um, and that was from one below which is another version of a pound shop and I followed this through in the other ones so if you move on to the cauldron you will see the version I put in here so there is this green lime green creep it real they also have a purple version of this that says more booze please and um i think another color that said something like witch please um so yeah i've got lots of little cups in there to have their spooky drinks out of if we come over here a little happy halloween with a dracula on some floating candles with a little purple Lid. so there's loads of different uh, variations again one pound tumbler with straw from asda that one was um so lots of different variations of cups let's have a look so in this one i have put an actual cup so you can see the design skeletons and pumpkins a little unicorn skeleton there it says party time on the inside this is ceramic 
this was £4 from TK Maxx and they have lots of different versions in store um, for all sorts of different, anything that people like, different colours, different designs, they have it uh, if someone wants it. There's also these little string lights, similar to the jack-o'-lanterns. These are more of a bead style and they are the very thin string lights. So there's 20 on there. Again, they were one pound from one below, but they also sell them in Poundland as well. Um, so they were another version of the string light. We've got sweeties. These are gummy eyeballs. But again, sweets, get them all over. In here, I have also put some classic fangs. Now, we know that these fangs don't fit in your mouth. They've never fit in your mouth for as long as one can remember. Um, pound shop, skeleton bat. Just a bit bigger than my hand. Again, more is just a prop to stick on there. At the back, we have this Happy Halloween colouring book. This again was a pound, and this was from Asda also, but again, pound shop. With just all different Halloween pictures inside. There's a sticker section, um, and lots of different pictures just to colour in and draw. To keep them entertained, it's all about keeping these children quiet for hours, isn't it? Anything for a bit of peace. Um, in the front of that cauldron, I also tucked in some socks. So there's some black here with little skeletons on. And if I bring you down into this one, I also have some purple with some jack-o'-lantern socks on in this basket here. Again, with another little skeleton rat from the pound shop so there's like I said a big variety of things you can do so in this big wicker basket having more space I put more things in um, and for this there is stamps again found from the pound shop we had our little bath bomb a little hot chocolate a different version of a hot chocolate in a cauldron with a little marshmallows from the pound shop again were these little ceramic jack-o'-lanterns they came with different faces i think it was three different styles to choose from and you just put your little tea light in there um, so that can go on the sideboard little chocolate pumpkin balls there we've already seen our little drink canister in the pound shop they had these tea light holders they had cats and pumpkins and a ghost so just grabbed a little cat there we have a fidget popper now you can get these just about everywhere fidget poppers are raging at the moment so a little fidget we had our skeleton nutcracker our ghost pez sweeties again some little vampire teeth those were from wilkinson's we have these little creepy figures so this is really good for arts and crafts something to do on the day um, and that's a little jack-o'-lantern man that you can colour in they have all different versions of them let me find one there's also this skull, a Day of the Dead skull, um, again with lots of different painting ideas and they were only a pound a piece. Um, from one below they have all sorts of different pumpkins in different colours, styles, some that say Halloween on, some that say 31 on them, spiders, plain, um, with several different colours. I also put in here from TK Maxx, £7, this nice little tin decanter with all those lovely Halloween designs on and colours. I put in a little ornament, so it just shows you there's different ways. 
um, child friendly ornament this was $7.99 and it lights up just a little resin ornament for the child's bedside we have stickers again all the shops are selling these stickers keeps children entertained for hours as we know we have our daily boppers which we have discussed um, our little foil balloon so these balloons I ordered some online off eBay however they also sell them let's have a look £2.50 for a pack uh, there's a jack lantern spider and bat there's a few different variations there and they were from B&M so you can pick them up what I done was I stuck a straw in it and blew it up I'll show you how I've done that now in the bottom of this basket not only to add as a filler but as I said if you do this for an older person or you do it for a child um, or a teenager there's lots of different options but yeah an older person other than things like the socks um, little pot bottles and hot chocolates and things like that a nice blanket so this is from TK Maxx it's reversible it's cream on the inside with grey pattern and grey with cream on the outside and as you can see there's different variations of cats on a broomstick um, and let's have a look how much this was £19 so even for your own home decor but that would be really nice in a basket probably not something you'd often get as a gift and lastly in here is this countdown to halloween advent calendar now you can get chocolate versions of this um and you can get little wooden houses and things but i really like the traditional christmas advent calendars that have the little doors and there's a picture behind it and this is the same so i'll just zoom in and show you that there's a bit of a glare off the light and where it says start here that is because this is a clue trail so behind each door is a picture but the picture is also the clue to where you find the next door so it isn't just a one two three four up to 31 it is actually a game there is no numbers on the doors and it's for you to solve the clues to find where the next door is in this village scene so that was um £10 and I just got it off Amazon but you can get them plenty of places and I thought that was really nice something a bit different that you don't see in stores so there was lots and lots of choice out there um, as you've seen lots of different things you can get and I think what I will show you is how I blew this up so foil balloons they come as I said you can get them in different sizes I just slot into the hole on the bottom this straw you can do it straight with your mouth but straw makes it a bit easier to get over the hole so as you can see I've slotted that in and then I'm just gonna And there we go only takes one breath but you just want to make sure the feet of the hat aren't turned over because then air doesn't really get into them and then you just push the bottom and it stays in and then i've just stuck mine on some pipe cleaners but you can stick them on anything stuck them in the top of the basket and they just stick out so it's just an extra little decoration um, and obviously children love balloons that you can add and that was it i'm looking at the time i don't think it was really a quick video but i hope you got something out of it a little bit of inspiration to not only what's in the shops but what you can put together just to make a basket and how it would look even with just a few items in um compared to a lot more items and the prices everything as i said was only 50 pence right up into a few pounds um other than the bigger basket which I put that blanket in which was 19 but that obviously everything's optional and whatever suits for you so I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day goodbye guys